when women are pregnant, there is a risk of transmitting HIV to their baby when they give birth. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to another exciting episode of New Mom with Dr. O. Oh, you already know. Okay, so today we are talking about a very, very controversial topic, okay, which many people always ask questions about and you know there are debates about it in the media and everywhere right but today we're going to be trashing the topic discussing the facts throwing away the myths right and i'm sure you've already seen on the thumbnail the topic is can hiv be transmitted through breastfeeding so let's look at it this way first of all let's have a brief background or a brief overview of hiv hiv is a virus that attacks your body's immune system so when you get hiv what it does is that it attacks your body's immune system so that your body is not able to fight against infections making you more susceptible or more likely to have infections caused by virus bacteria fungi so infections that ordinarily your body should have fought against your body is your body's immune system is not able to fight against it so we are going to have all those infections as we already know there are drugs that you can take to suppress the viral load so that your body is still able to function normally even though you have hiv that's why we have a lot of people that have hiv but are still living very normal lives right those are called antiretroviral drugs when women are pregnant there is a risk of transmitting hiv to their baby when they give birth that's why after a baby is born to an hiv positive mother the baby is giving drugs for a couple of weeks after birth to prevent the chances of the baby getting HIV. In the same way, breastfeeding, when you breastfeed your baby, HIV can actually be transmitted through the breast milk of the baby. Yes, there are antiretroviral drugs that reduce this risk of transmission. But remember, it only reduces it, it does not eliminate it. So no matter how small, there's still that chance that your baby can get HIV through the breast milk, right? So I understand that, yes, you want the best for your baby. You want your baby to be exclusively breastfed. You don't want your baby to take anything else. I understand that. Not to talk of societal pressure, right? People around you might be wondering, okay, why are you not breastfeeding your baby? Like, you gave it to this baby yourself. You have breast milk, everything. Why are you not giving your baby breast milk, right? Remember, you don't owe anyone an explanation, so you don't have to explain to them why you're not doing that. However, it might be tempting for you to want to give into pressure, right? So you can just tell them, you know what, I, I, I don't want to breastfeed. Breastfeeding is not my thing. And there are other alternatives available. So sometimes in some countries, there are donor breast milk available for your baby. So people donate their healthy breast milk that you can use feed your baby if you insist that you must use breast milk. Otherwise, there are formula foods available everywhere. And they are specially formulated for feeding newborns, for feeding infants. And they are just as good as breast milk. Although breast milk is best, but these are suitable alternatives to breast milk, right? So it's better you feed your baby with those alternatives and you're sure that the baby doesn't get HIV than you feeding your baby breast milk because you want your baby to get the benefits of breast milk and then giving the baby HIV. I think that would be much worse than the baby not getting actual breast milk. So let's see, for those women that insist on going ahead to breastfeed, even with the risk of transmission for HIV, what can they do to reduce their chances of giving their baby HIV? So one thing you can do is make sure you continue taking your antiretroviral drugs. It's very important. Never stop taking your drugs. Keep taking them. Speak with your doctor. Let your doctor know I have HIV, blah, blah, blah. So that if they need to adjust the dose or whatever, they can, right? But keep taking your drugs to suppress the viral load so that there is that um, the risk of you transmitting it to your baby that uh, breast milk is greatly reduced. Another thing is if you're going to breastfeed your baby, make sure, you know, when you just have breastfeeding especially, there's that tendency for the nipples to be dry and cracked. And when it's cracked, there might be small cuts that can bleed, right? Imagine your baby is sucking that somehow through the blood from the bleeding or whatever. Your baby somehow transmits the HIV. So you really don't want that. And sometimes when babies are feeling, they can bite. They can bite your nipples. So imagine that they bite and then they are exposed to that infected HIV blood, right? They are going to get So make sure when you are feeding that there are no cuts on your nipple. If there is possibility that there is going to be any cuts, just make sure you don't breastfeed until that area is healed because you don't want to transmit HIV to your baby. Yeah, that's pretty much it about HIV and breastfeeding. HIV can actually be transmitted to your baby through breastfeeding. The risk is reduced when you take antiretroviral drugs, but the risk is not eliminated. So you might want to reconsider your choices of breastfeeding your baby if you're living with HIV. Remember, people with HIV, they live normal lives. Antiretroviral drugs have ensured that they live normal lives and they live long lives, as opposed to what was thought in the past that people with HIV are going to die young. No, 
a leaf till very very old age so that you have hiv does not make you any different from anyone else and please let's not stigmatize people with hiv because a lot of them didn't even get it from being promiscuous right innocent things like blood transfusions um instruments on sterilized instruments that were used on them in the hospitals or even on sterilized clippers right in the salons or sterilized manicure kits in the salons if that got hiv it could happen to anyone so let's not stigmatize let's be try to be more understanding of the plight people are going through if you enjoyed watching this video so far please don't forget to like the video subscribe and share with anyone you think might need to see this but remember being a new mom can be pretty overwhelming but your kids are totally worth it see you next week